Hello, Monsters Banning, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. And part 8 of my Gark. Iron skin, hides, fists. It's one of them. Iron leg. Fucking who cares? That's my enemy. Oh, ogres. We've got ogres. And we're going to beat up some Chaos Dwarves. Ostensibly, we are friends with the Chaos Dwarves. But not these guys, because they suck. So charging in. Bludgeoning our way through them with our armoured boys. And those Noblars just melting. Literally exploding. This battle shouldn't take very long. And of course we've got uh, Terry Nutkins. And where's... Oh, there, there, there he is. There's Chris Packham. Friends with all the animals. Mostly a stone horn. See, there's uh, a Lamassu flying high above. Just sort of dicking about there, taking fire from the cannons. Meanwhile, the Sabre Tusks have charged into the rear. We do have Massacre on them, which has boosted their melee attack to ludicrous levels. Which means they can quickly chew their way through the surviving Chaos Dwarves. Chaos Dwarves like their, their non-tainted kin are quite hard to break. Refusing to flee despite the fact their army has been annihilated in, in fairly short succession. And all he's got is that stupid little flare gun. Looks like he's actually going to go for Chris Packham here. That's a mistake. I, I think I, I think they think that um, these these guys like missile units, and I mean I guess they are, but they're also you know pretty 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 fucking killy. I'm not sure why Gark is... I guess I forgot that Gark was there. So he's kind of just relaxing in the trees over there. Which, you know, he's been very busy. It's nice that he's getting some time to, to take a load off. In spite of their prodigious leadership, once they literally have no army left, even the Chaos Dwarves are going to have to admit that it's time to call it a day. That's what you get. That's what you get for wrecking my poop camp. You piece of shit. No, good mate, no, no. Oh, that's I have to poop out another one now. You didn't quite cover the payment. Oh, that tyrant. Dick. Oh, I don't know, sometimes. You know, sometimes. It's, 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 it's some people. Some people. All right, I'm gonna get that, and uh, I'm gonna do a little rampage. I hate these guys because they just dicked me over. Every, every 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 Chaos Dwarf campaign I played, they just dicked me over. So uh, they need a little bit of a spa. Where are you going? I serve the Raven God. Do you? What have you got? The armor of Morkar. Hmm. Oh, they're all kind. Archeon, you, do, don't you have anything better to do? Oh, you literally don't have anything better to do. Words, so All right, fair enough. I stand corrected. You literally don't have anything better to do than kill me. I thought you had a world to destroy, you whiny piece of shit. God, okay, I'm such a whiny piece of shit. Why, why, like, Archaon and Abaddon, right? The two kind of like the big chaos guys. Both whiny pieces of shit, aren't they? They're just fucking useless. I don't. I don't. I, I, look, Archaon is is just a, a whiny bitch, and Abaddon is so bad at his job that he only accident. He basically threw a fucking wobbly and and chucked a space station at a planet. That somehow, somehow he fucking lucked upwards. He he lucked out and 
failed upwards is what I meant to say. He failed upwards, right? Accent. He didn't have a fucking plan. He was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Just fucking, fuck it. Fuck, it. fuck you. Fuck it. It's exploding. He's like, that's what I meant to do. Yep. Good. Look at, he's like every single CEO. Doesn't have a fucking clue what he's doing. He's just got enough money and power that he manages to luck himself out all the time. Dick. How do they how do they make the chaos big bosses so fucking boring as well? Got the personality of a cardboard cutout. Jesus Christ. Uh no, I'm still I'm st I mean okay, the money's is the money getting better? I can't remember, but I'm not. Ah, Emmerich. Yeah, I did think that might happen. I was, I, you know, in fairness, I I did kind of see that coming. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. I'm boss, and that's that. All right. That's a lot of stuff. I'm not. I'm not super happy about that. Do I want more armor and physical resistance, or do I want like I don't know, sundering attack? I mean, you're probably going to be heavily armored, aren't you? So if I go sundering attacks, and who isn't okay? You guys. Can all be upgraded. Oh, we got new contracts. Anything good? Uh, you want me to raise or sack the challenge stone? I mean, that is probably on my list. You want me to hit the black fortress, which I could do, and that would give me a nice magical item. A very nice magical item. Because that deals damage to, to ourselves. Well, it deals damage to whoever we use it on, right? But if we use it on ourselves, we've actually the ogres have actually got a lot of healy stuff. So that I'm kind of like, let's do that. I mean, still two, like three grand is not really that much, but I'll I'll take it. It's what I want. I'll take it. Okay, I'm not I'm not super into this. We don't have any money, so everyone's just gonna chill there, and we're gonna see if we can lure them in. Gark is going to go and hit the Black Fortress. Because he can. Uh, you can probably hit it next turn anyway, can't you? I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll just go it. We'll just scooch a little bit closer. With any luck, you'll be able to defend yourself. But to be honest, until you can actually build some some defense. Ah, crap. Ah, nuts. You don't have very much, do you? No. Nope. Well, that's that camp gone. Oh, fuck. any challenger. Hello? It's Archeon and... Cr I mean, we do have the Garrus. We've got a lot of stuff here, so... I feel like we should be fine. So, the Ever-Chosen has turned up. As per usual, he often does in my campaigns to ruin my day. And, uh... These Marauder Horsemen are finding out how dangerous knives are. That's right, you came to the wrong part of the hood, baby. Do you throw, like, flamey things? Oh, you, you, you throw, like, flamey, flamey things. Fla oh, interesting. Okay, didn't know that. Good oh. Right, we've got lots of Noblars, because Noblars... Oof. Noblars are what's coming onto the battlefield, because we've got a lot of Noblars. We've also got some Chaos Force blunderbusses who are going to prove to be mostly fucking useful for the vast majority of the battle. However, what we do also have is some giants. Now, I really like giants, and I like giants for two reasons. One, they've got shitloads of attack, and two, they've got shitloads of melee strength. And three, they're not afraid to let it all hang out. Who likes short shorts? They like short shorts. Okay, Archeon's bringing a, a mixed bag, I think it's fair to say, to the battle. These Chaos Warhounds should get chewed apart by the Sabertusk 
pack fairly quickly. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, tasty. Forcing them to retreat, and the Ogre Bulls then moving in as well. Yeah, it's, it's not probably meat you want to eat. Archeon, after the uh, the two giants are buffed to bulls, they got um, at one point I think they had like 1.8 weapon strength, 1.8k weapon strength. So Archeon is learning that actually um, all the all the chaos buffs in the world can't help you from just being bludgeoned to death with a, with a tree trunk. So he's having a rough time, and he's also can't really get away. Um, yeah, he's having, he's having a bad time there. He's desperately trying to escape. Oh, he's down. There we go. Arcane on the other chosen is defeated. Elsewhere, the Noblars continuing to hold the line for the most part. Even the Blood Letters of Corn can't quite sort of manage to deal with them. I mean, they can kill them. It's just there's a lot of them. Chaos Dwarf Blunderbuss is pulling back a little bit because they're getting targeted by the Hell Cannon. Which is actually doing quite a lot of damage there. Ow. We've managed to... We're trying to get a Saber Tusk pack to sneak past the Chaos Lions to get at that Saber Tusk. To get the Saber... Are the Saber... No, I mean the, at the Hell Cannon. Chaos Warriors with Halbards are of course going to be quite nasty for us to deal with. Because they've got a lot of bonus versus large. 19 bonus versus large. So not really what our... Our Ogre Balls kind of want to deal with. With the ever chosen dead, the centre of the battlefield has become a bit of a melee. However, I think our giant should be able to hold the line. Some Hell Striders trying to break through. The Noblars holding them back. The blunder I, I can't the, the, this battlefield is an absolute fucking nightmare for blunderbusses. It's just all very it's undulating. I think what I is a term I'd use. Undulating. The Saber Tusk managed to get into the Hell Cannon there, which is quite good. And we're even trying to kill off the Swords of Chaos. Now, obviously, the Sword of Chaos are Archeon's elite bodyguard. To be a scratching post would be, you know, quite devastating. But it does look like they are getting their ass kicked by the Saber Tusk pack. Uh, they just have a lot of weapon strength and melee attack. It's tough. To, it's tough to bring them down. They're quite squishy, but the Swords of Chaos. There's not very many Swords of Chaos. They need kind of backup to deal with that kind of thing. Chaos Fury is being summoned in to harass the Scrap Launcher. The Scrap Launcher has done really good work. Ow! Can someone please call that Hell Cannon? It's really annoying. The Noblars continuing to hold that flank and even managing to push the Chaos Forces back. Just sheer weight of numbers and a lot of fucking knives. House of Flying Daggers. And they're getting slowed. The engagement continues in the centre. Pokchu. Uh, put it this way, it's just as well we didn't give him a name. The Blunderbuss is trying to get into position, but getting attacked by the Hell Striders. I mean, they'll, they'll be able to shoot them off their mounts pretty quickly, but they're just rolling around, causing all kinds of problems. Oh, nightmare. I need to set up. Poor old Mountain Eater Bob is running away, although he's regenerating, and he has managed to get 19 kills. He's done quite well there. The Giants continuing just to wail on it. I mean, look at this. 2,000 damage dealt as gold. And you can't tell me Giants are bad. They're not. They're great. They're just fucking awesome. Giants are fucking awesome, guys. Get on the fucking Giant train. Right, be a Giant stan. Giants are your boys. The blunderbusters have finally managed to get into a position that's kind of working for them, which is just as well, because this blob of Chaos Warriors is, well, a pain. So let's deal with it. With blunderbusses. Let's face it, you can't you can't go wrong with blunder blunderbusses and giants. You can't go wrong. So we're laying into that chaos blob there. 
Noblars sort of mopping up on the flank. They're just, just a shit ton of Noblars, to be honest. On our right flank, the Ogre Bulls were mostly routed by those. There's, 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 there's Halbards, quite nasty. And uh, the Sabertoss pack has taken a bit of a beating as well. But reinforcements are continuing to pour onto the battlefield because we do have plenty of reinforcements. There you go, even more Ogre Bulls arriving. The blunderbuss is continuing just to lay, lay into those Chaos Warriors. Mountain Eater Bob coming back once again. Those giants slamming, slamming. The uh, giants are just good hero killers. Like for the most part, they can just take out heroes no problem. They can they can tie up units. They're tanky. I mean, yes, they're tall boys. You need to keep them away from missile units, but I've never found that a problem. They're good boys. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why that thought that we were going to lose that. Because, oh, we lost a fire baby. Damn it. Oh, well. Never mind. Why did you just... Why did you explode? Never mind. We can get a new fire baby. One with untrustable... Well, probably untrustable. Something. You want a peace treaty? God, I'm kind of tempted to take it. You know what? I'm going to take that peace treaty just because I've also got Emmerich to deal with. So, Mountain Deep to Bob. Got Doom Slayer. Good for him. Belly Slapper. More population. Winds of Pain. Uh, hopefully they're nowhere near me. Get five skill points. Jesus, Bob. Okay, I think we're going to get Bull Charger. Because you're probably going to have a lot of bulls. And I'm going to give you that as well. Hang on. You got that. Yeah, good. Good. What else you got? Devour, ch Devour Challengers. Okay, that's fine. And then you can pick what you can get. Absolute Violence, which gives you more money attack. Uh, Iron Discipline, which gives you more charge bonus the entire army. Or Tithe Taker. Hmm. Oh, that is interesting. Throd, you got three skill points. Uh, let's give you Amber Spear, Block of Doom, and Wild Hearts. Okay, can we just auto resolve these guys to death? Ah, what the fuck? Seriously? Oh, you know what? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, now let's try. Seriously? Se guys, you do... You do uh, uh, all right, no, all right, fine. Okay. Um... Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, uh, 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 mo. know why this I mean I, th I thought maybe it might kill some units but really defeat I don't I don't think so I don't I think I found out why the ogres on the campaign map never seem to do very well I mean for one we've got the artillery advantage so we can we can literally bombard the fuckers from long range we can also use our little ability I think this comes from the camp or something. It's like a... Yeah, it, it doesn't do very much, but... You know, it looks pretty. So that's good. Our reinforcements will arrive shortly. Their reinforcements will arrive around about the same time. But I mean... They're just, they're just taking it. They're just taking the scrap launcher artillery fire... And just sort of sucking it up. Now they do have some some heroes. They got Valmir here, obviously exalted hero of corn. Got yeah, another exalted hero of corn. They're going, they're going, they're going hard for corn. Leds, 
by a Chaos Sorcerer, which... Questionable choices of that. Everything must die. Well, indeed. I must, I must play Scarbrand at some point. I mean, I definitely want to play Kugath at some point. I don't know if I want to play him now or wait. Because obviously we've had the roadmap, haven't we? So there could be another Nurgle faction on its way. Which I'd be quite excited about. So maybe it's the time to play Kugath. Maybe now's the time. And I don't, I don't think, Kug a lot of people don't like playing Kugath, and I disagree. I think Kugath is fun. However, I think, I think, I th again, I, okay, here's, here's my, here's my theory of Warhammer 3. They spent a long time in meeting rooms writing things down on whiteboards, right? And I'm not saying they had bad ideas. Like, the, the idea of, like, a, like, the Nurgle buildings having a cycle, right? In theory, that sounds quite interesting, doesn't it? That sounds quite exciting. But, realistically, is it actually good? You know, what, what does that do for the faction? And the answer is, kind of dicks it over. So, have you got three guys... Oh, no, no, there's a chaos. There's a source for lords. That's fine. So, so here, here's my theory of Warhammer 3, is that they spent a long time in meeting rooms with on whiteboards writing down how to make these, these factions super, super, super thematic. And I think they succeeded, right? I, th I think we can all agree they succeeded. However, I, I, I have the suspicion that they just spent a long time testing these mechanics to find out if they worked. Not actually if they were fun. I don't know if that comes down to maybe like a time thing. Did they run out of time? I don't know. But like the, the thing that also leads me into this theory is the fact that all of the numbers were really fucking weird, weren't they? Like they were weirdly low and the texts were, you know, very realm of chaos specific like they've been done in a rush i think that's my theory my theory is warhammer 3 was a game done it was designed by committee i think i think that's it was designed by meeting I do like that. I, I kind of want to play Village for the for the flamey Marauder Horseman. I like the idea of having flaming. Look, I, I like I like my Marauders horsebound and my Javelins flaming. Anyway, Chaos Forces are now charging. Eventually, eventually, at last, finally. There we go. That's the words. That's the words I was looking for. Noblar's getting nommed. That's fine. I don't really care about that. The Ogre Bull's charging. I say the only real issue here is going to be the enemy characters, mostly the 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 core melee boys, because they are going to be very tanky and very hard to kill. I I kind of want to take out these Halbards before they get into contact with my Ogre Bulls, because of course they do have that nasty bonus first large. So uh, killing them off, you know, probably probably paramount. I don't know where they're going. They seem to be... Okay, never mind. Uh, hit them with Flock of Doom. And a Scrap Launcher. they got Sundered Armor. They've only got 70 Armor now. Ah, we probably got them. Meanwhile, the last few... I I'd forgotten we had the Blunderbusses until the end of the battle when I suddenly realized... Oh, shit. I should have used those guys to shoot, shoot these assholes. That would have been way better. What's the Vial of Troll Blood? I'm assuming that's like Regeneration or something, right? I'm assuming that's what that is. Does that do? Makes you unbreakable. Oh, it just makes you unbreakable, does it? Oh, okay. Okay, just makes you unbreakable. Fair enough. I mean, that's that's kind of a death sentence, but... 
I feel like if you're at the point where you're about to break, it's probably not a good idea to become unbreakable. It's probably a good idea to get the fuck out of there. But, you know, far be it from me to tell you what to do. Okay, we're grinding down those heroes, and the rest of the Chaos Army is running away. Just need to... Just need to finish him off, really. Yeah, we'll get there in the end. Right, you see? It's... it's uh, I mean, that's... Are you dead as well? Are you just going to fade away? Yeah, good. Good. Like a Polaroid of people from the future. And something's gone but wrong with time. Like in that film about time. Remember that one? Time Bandits. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, so... Let's give you a meat cleaver. Now, there is another guy there. However, we have we have battered, battered the enemy and got some valuable experience points there as well. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting you some lead belchers. I think those, those would be quite good. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's, that's a, he hello. You have no right to discourse with the storm dragon, cretin. Okay, what about? Yeah, even that, even that wouldn't do it. Okay, never mind. I guess, guess we're gonna lose a camp. Never mind, we'll just have to poop out another one. Well, I mean, all right. Yeah, you, you, you're gonna lose your caravan then. Just FYI. Looks like those guys are going to come out and help. For all the fucking good it's going to do. Thanks for the cash, guys. And the more cash. How much should we get? 15k. Ah, that's alright. That's alright, and I'll take this as well. Which completes our thingy majig. No, it doesn't, because it was raise or sack. It was raise or fucking sack! Fuck! What difference does it make, Kugath? I mean, I could upgrade you to the top level, but I think I just... I'll, I'll do that with you, because this, this one, at least we can defend this one, right? At least we... Oh, we could get a fire belly, but if we... Oh, but then I'll, I'll lose... Oh, but, 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 but I'm going to... Right, okay, we're going to get another guy here. We're going to get another guy here. More Preacher. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of bonuses. What's this do? Hit points increase, speed reduction, but more mass. Doopy doopy do. Okay, tactician is fine. Weapon master might be fair. He's fairly straightforward, isn't it? It's just more killy. Aggressive, disciplined is just always generally quite good. Um. All right, we're gonna get you. I don't really want. My will does not bend. I don't really want to recruit chaos dwarf units. 
minutes. But I feel like I might have to just defend off this I army. I mean, who? I presume you have come to beg for your life. Well, such sad folly. Uh huh. Cool. It's okay. Lock here is apparently dead. I guess as is Death Mask Snitch. Well, I mean, that's not necessarily the worst thing. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't... Okay. I kind of feel like maybe the best option, and this is kind of a shit way of doing it, but just poop camps like quite close to each other. And then at least you can kind of protect them. Because like you spread your camps out and they just, I don't know, you just can't really defend them very quickly. You know? I think, I think that's the problem. It's like, did, did, right, so I, I can, I can recruit, okay, I can I recruit, recruit an ogre per turn. And it's not... It's not great, is it? Find me uh, I kind of think a plique plates is probably actually better. Master Butcher. Okay. Well, let's get this. Then we can get Tribal Tribute. Are you guys chill? With any luck, I mean, I guess, I guess this is fine. I guess this is fine. Who, right, who am I friends with? So I'm friends with these guys. I'm friends with, these guys like me, don't they? Yeah. I mean, I could put, the problem is if I put camps here, they're, that's going to raid and then they're going to slowly, slowly piss them off. So I can't really do that. And I don't know if there's any, Point spending more money on this. I guess we could do that. But we're definitely going to lose the Veil of Titans, which is annoying because I really wanted to hold on to Fire. Well, I should be able to hold on to Fire Mouth. In fact, if I upgrade that, um, sure. Let. I'm still very annoyed about that contract thing, though. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely quite shitty about that. Oh, those cafe cannons. Those things are mean. Very, very mean. Okay. What's this? Pay them in ketchup, recruitment costs, less meat generated, more growth or provinces. Yeah. More growth, please. I serve only okay, the you can definitely reach. How much money do we have? Not, not enough. I could go and grab Pig Barter. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to go this way. Oh, hello, Emmerich. Uh, can I reach you? I can reach you. Oh well. Imrik, I'm going to absolutely fucking annihilate you. Okay, so I had a crash because apparently Windows decided to install a a driver for my monitors, which then knocks out my display without, like, telling me. The, the only, like, my screens went black, everything shut down. And then it came back again. I was like, what the fuck was that? Let's get the shit out. You know, when, you're, when your monitors just go black, you think, oh, fuck, no. And then it came back to life again. And the only reason I know what happened 
was because I went into the event viewer and hunted for the fucking entry to tell me what had happened. Installation started. Windows has started installing the following update. Advanced Micro Devices Inc. Dash Display. Oh, thanks Windows. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for... F fucking... Fucking... Who the... F who the... F anyway, for now, for some reason I can't reach Imerick. I don't know why. I like literally moved the same distance, but apparently I can't... I can't fight him now, so... So there we go. Can't. So that's bullshit. Isn't it? I serve the Raven God. Fucking right. What do I need to do? Oh, which? Oh, I've done that. Uh, right. Pig barter. And the plans of? Did I not get the thing? Did I not? Oh no, I took the thing for the the for for, for Kugath, and then I then I occupied it rather than sacking it, and apparently that ruined the contract. Yep. Bastards. Anyway, the important thing is I can't really recruit anyone else. We might have enough here to fend My this off. But that is a lot of cannons. Of the I, ca th those cannons, they do a shit ton of damage to uh, to ogres. They, ju they just fucking carve. Carve ogres to be. I cannot fucking believe Windows did that. What a, what a piece of shit. At least we got the ambush. That's something. I'll take that. I mean, it's a valiant defeat. Do I... Do I? I might be able, if I can take out the cannons, I might I might be able to kill the rest. It's worth a punt. Now, Cathay cannons are particularly nasty against large units. If they strafe an ogre, you well, wave goodbye to a bunch of ogres. However, they are also very susceptible to being shot to pieces. So we're going to sacrifice our Noblars here just to take out... Noblars? I mean Hobgoblins. Uh, basically the same thing. To so take out those cannons as quickly as possible. And then that's hopefully going to give the reinforcements time to take out the rest of the army. We may lose this army, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing for them to make. As you can see, we've managed to take out the vast majority of the cannons. I think only one survived. Two. No, I think they're all... No, there's definitely one. There's a couple of cannons there, but only a couple of cannons. Okay, the hobgoblins are being routed, but reinforcements are about to arrive. And without their long-range firepower... Well, except obviously the shit tons of peasant archers they have, and crossbows, and also the, the crane gunners. I mean, apart from all that. Here they come. Now, of course, the, the camp boss will only ever be level one. They don't rank up. Which is a shame, really. You think maybe, maybe, maybe that's the way to boost the camp a little bit. You know, if you had a, you know, if your if your guy could level up, maybe you had a building that leveled them up faster or something, and then they could have skills that relates to sort of like camp defense. That would be good, wouldn't it? Like maybe maybe skills that related to you know, I don't know barricades and stuff. Not that ogres really need the barricades, but. I don't know, anything, something just to help the camp defenders. That'd be quite good. And just to boost you, boost the garrison up, make them actually quite tanky. I mean, you may as well, considering, I mean, the camp can't fucking move. So it's not like it's going to go and attack anyone. Okay, the Ogre Balls are charging. Taking on those Jade Lancers. So 
Jade Lance is trying to flank around us for some reason. Who knows? Anyway, looks like Crobats may even survive. They're just kind of ignoring him, which is why... See, this is why Unbreakable's bad. Because if he was Unbreakable, he'd be fucking dead right now. As in, as he, can, he, just, he can just run away, rally, come back. He might even survive the battle. He'd get some experience. You know, be... Next time, I might not use him to sacrifice to just take out some cannons. Okay, we need to take out these Jade Lancers. They are causing some uh, some slight issues for us. If we can break past the Jade Warriors and get into those archers, we can win this thing. Get them, lads. Oh, just trampled them. Just trampled them straight into the archers there. That's what we needed. The artillery crews actually did rally. And they're now just charging straight into our ogres, which I'm fine with that, to be honest. Okay, something we do need to do is take out those crane gunners before they do too much damage. Currently taking pot shots at us. However, we are just overrunning them. Getting into those missile units. If we can get into those missile units, pin them down, this battle is over. For the Noblar's getting involved. It's nice to see. Okay, it looks like this battle may be over. Taking out those cannons has saved the day. And I mean, the Hobgoblins even survived, so... That's nice. As we mop up the last survivors, obviously we'll try and kill off as many as possible because that will be less stuff we have to kill later. Or rather, because, of course, the camp can't move and come and help us, this uh, this little hobgoblin shooty army can't actually sort of like go and hunt them down. Still, at least the camp's safe for the moment. Oh, can't believe we actually managed to save the camp. Oh. Really pleased with that. Hello, Emmerich. Oh, you brought friends. All right, well. That's fine. I can kill you all. I was going to kill Emmerich first, then kill his friends, but... I mean, this way. Two birds with one stone, innit? Also, you've got a cannibal totem. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that at all. That's going to have to wait until next time, though. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.